Almost 48 hours after arriving at the island set down for their execution, Bali 9 duo Andrew Chan and Mayuran Sukumaran are now in limbo. With still no date for their execution, there's growing outrage over the way their transfer was handled. First, a full-blown and seemingly over-the-top military operation as they left Karabakan. Then, as the pair flew to Nusa Kambangan Island, Bali's police chief was all smiles as he took photos with the two men who are condemned to death. The foreign minister has now called in the Indonesian ambassador to complain about the incident. We're joined now by Federal Education Minister Christopher Pine and Labor frontbencher Anthony Albanese. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Good morning Anthony. Christopher, I'll start Hi, with you. Elite military vehicles, fighter jet flyovers, decoy vehicles, riot squad police. You would have to say right now that President Widodo, rather than listening to the Australian government's pleas for clemency, he's treating these men like prize catchers. He's thumbing his nose at us right now, isn't he? Well, to be fair to the Indonesian justice system and President Widodo, uh, he is treating the Australian prisoners the same way as all the other uh, foreign, uh, uh, foreigners who are in well, Indonesia no, facing no, that's, death row. No, that's not true, Christopher, because one of the other drug smugglers who is also going to face the firing squad left in an unmarked van that, to go to the same island facing the same death. And I think that is much more appropriate. But I, don't, I think to try and uh, characterise President Widodo as thumbing his nose at Australia is not something that a federal cabinet minister is going to endorse, Lisa. But you're Obviously... apologising for him, Christopher, with the greatest respect. Uh, well, I'm certainly not doing that, Lisa. I am completely opposed to the death penalty. But he's uh, treating think... these two prisoners differently to the other prisoners who are facing the same firing squad on the same day. Well, the Australian government's response, which so far has been a model of uh, maturity and totally supported by the opposition in a very bipartisan way, has been to be calm and to be sensible. It certainly hasn't been to try and pour oil on the fire. We want President Widodo to uh, grant clemency to these two Australians. We certainly don't want to get into a fight with the Indonesians which causes them to get their backs up. Uh, we will not be able to save these two men's lives by uh, insulting President Widodo or the Indonesians. We have taken a very firm line uh, with the Indonesian government and the Foreign Minister asked the Ambassador in last night for an explanation for the photographs of the police chief with uh, the two condemned men. Uh, we couldn't have been more clear about our position on the death penalty and we've even offered a prisoner swap with the Indonesians to save these people's lives. But the way to do that has been the way the government has reacted, supported by Tanya Plibersek and the Labor Party, and that's exactly what I'm outlining to you this morning. Anthony, what do you think of the way uh, President Widodo is handling all of this? It does seem to be all bells and whistles for the cameras. Well, I certainly am, am not going to get it this time. I'm not sure that getting into personal criticism of the president of uh, Indonesia is going to be constructive. Uh, the issue here is that uh, Andrew and Mayuran uh, are not a threat to anybody. Uh, it's very clear uh, that they have been rehabilitated and are indeed uh, contributing a positive, uh, as positive role models in the in the Indonesian system, and uh, Indonesia should be taking some pride out of that. Uh, it is appropriate that the foreign minister uh, call in the Indonesian ambassador, as she has done, because quite clearly, uh, this was an uh, over the top. The footage uh, that has been seen of their transfer. Uh, it's important. Part of the reason why we oppose the death penalty is because we respect the dignity of, uh, of human life. And uh, people deserve to be treated with respect. Uh, that is the case in terms of Andrew and Mayuren.